Here's how you can record a video like this with just a t-shirt, a torch, and your phone. So this was originally a Skillshare course posted on Skillshare, but now it's gonna be a YouTube video available for free. It's made a few years ago, so bear with me, it's a bit slow. So let's get filming. So the first thing you want to do is to close the blinds to your room. Turn off all the lights as well. Get a dark piece of fabric. I'm going to use a t-shirt and lay it down flat on a surface. Then set up a tripod with your camera on top and point it down to your subject. Then hold down on your subject to lock focus. Then turn exposure all the way down. This is how you do it on an iPhone, but I'm sure you should be able to get similar effects no matter what you're using to film. When you're ready, hit record. Then grab your flashlight or another phone and move it over the subject, going left to right, right to left, backwards, and forwards. Change up the speeds and angles that you go over the subject. It's always better to get more footage and angles and speeds than less. Then reposition the subject and your camera and keep getting more and more footage, repeating this process over and over again until you feel satisfied. If you want to be creative, you can try to move the camera on some shots instead of leaving it on a tripod. Think outside the box and grab as much footage as possible. These are just some of the examples which I grabbed earlier. Try to get a variety of shots. Try to get some long shots, some close-up ones. Try to mix it up. And remember, be as creative as possible. So let's get editing. So once you finish filming, get all the footage onto an editing software. I'm gonna use Final Cut, but no matter what editing software you're using, the principles will be the same, so don't worry. So the first thing you want to do is to find music and add it to your timeline, like I have done so here. And I just like to listen to it once through and think about where would be nice places to add transitions. You can make mental notes in your head, or you can just listen. If you want, you can add markers on Final Cut, the shortcut is M, or you can add markers on your second listen. So now since I'm familiar with the music, I can now add markers to think about where I might want to transition. So that's the gist of what I'm doing now. So now it's time to look through all your raw footage and see which clips you want to use. You might want to think about what would the concept of your video be, what would be a nice establishing shot, and just what would make the video look good. For example, this clip right here, I see this as a nice establishing shot. So I'm just going to drag that onto my timeline. There's a blank clip at the front, which I will need to get rid of. So I'm just cleaning it up right now. Cool. So I'm just gonna let it play through and I see that it goes pretty much black around here. So I'm going to make a cut, Command B, delete the rest, zoom out. And that's my first clip. So now I'm just gonna keep doing that from all the clips I have here imported from what we filmed earlier. And whenever I see something nice, I just drag it onto the timeline where I see fit. So it's just a matter of watching all your clips, having a play and just guessing and checking and seeing where you think the clips would look great at, at different points of the music. So after you do that, this is what you should end up with. So as you can see, I'm trying to make all these clips in sync with the music in some way. For example, right here, there's a nice drop and I'm trying to align the end of this clip or the start of this clip with this peak right here in order to have that nice satisfying effect. Something like that. So that's what I'm doing now. Yep, that looks pretty good. So 
it doesn't have to be perfect right now because we are going to add gaps to our clips in order to make the transition seem more seamless as we'll go cross dissolve to a gap then a cross dissolve back to the next clip so it looks all seamless and I'll show you how that works later on but for now what we have to do is add gaps between our clips so just search up gap insert gap so gaps are just blank clips and you want to add a gap in between every clip on your timeline you don't want it to be this long this is ridiculous something like this would be adequate maybe a bit longer so you want to delete a small part of the previous clip at the point where the light disappears. For example, I see the light decreasing until somewhere here. I'm going to end the clip somewhere here. And I would have to shorten some clips because we want to make the length of our video to match the length of our music. So since we're adding gaps, the video will be longer. So we need to cut down some of our actual footage. Also, our music doesn't really fade out, so I might just add that little feature in by doing this. Somewhere like that. Okay, so now I'll just be adding gaps in between all of our clips and shortening the clips where the light disappears. What else you can do is you can add movement. For example, right now the clip's just staying still and it doesn't look that exciting. So what I can do, I can set a keyframe at the very start, so I'll go to this, then scale, then select keyframe, then go to the end of the clip and I can make the scale bigger. For example, I might go to 130 and now instead of it just staying where it is, it zooms in slowly. We'll see how that looks. It just adds a little extra oomph to your clip and it makes it look a little more satisfying. You can zoom out as well. For example, here I want it to zoom out. What I can do, I'll set this scale at the end to 100, set a keyframe there, go back to the start, and then set a keyframe at a larger scale. So now it's zooming out. So I generally like to add keyframes and movement to most of my clips, and the amount of movement I want will vary. So now once you've done that to all your clips, you should have something that looks a bit like this. As you can see, since I've added gaps, the video doesn't fully align with the music anymore. So that's something we will be fixing soon. But first, let's color grade our clips. So as a beginner, one of the easiest ways to change the look of your clips is to add a custom LUT. So add a custom LUT to one of the clips. And then I'm going to choose orange and teal. And then I would lessen the intensity of the LUT because that's far too strong. So somewhere here would be nice. Since this clip has the LUT, I'll click Command C. Then I want to paste the LUT to all these other clips, so I go Shift Command V, and I don't want to transform it like the other clip, I just want the LUT, so I unselect that transform. Then I'll paste the custom LUT to all the other clips. As you can see, the main issue now is that it doesn't align with the music fully since we've added the gaps. So what we want to do is we want to start ending the clips and seeing where would be a good time to end. So somewhere here. It doesn't have to fully turn black as we're going to add dissolves between this clip and this clip so the transition will look smooth. So somewhere like this. And I'll just keep doing this until I finish the whole clip and I want the end to align with the end. So the main issue now is that the transition between this clip and this clip is quite harsh. So what we want to do is we want to add a dissolve. So we want to go add a cross dissolve. Here we want to shorten it. And now the transition should look pretty smooth. Now we want to have another cross dissolve between this blank clip and this clip. And I'll just add a cross dissolve here. And I just do this continuously throughout all the clips to make it all very smooth. And I can adjust how long I want the cross dissolve to be. But that will depend on personal preference. And for me, it will depend on which two clips I'm transitioning between. So after you have done that, this is what your project should look like. So 
So as you can see, the project looks pretty good now, but we want to add some sound effects to transform it to the next level. So what you want to do is to go under the sound effects tab, then you want to add whatever sound effects you want to add. And since I'm using a stethoscope as a product, I might want to add a heartbeat. So I just drag that right to the very front because I like that idea. And then I also like to add whooshes whenever the light enters or disappears. For example, say I want whoosh number two. Whoosh number two. Say I want to use it to signify the light disappearing from our first clip. So about here, I'll add the whoosh around here. And then I want another whoosh to signify the light shining through here. Maybe whoosh number three. No, that's a bit too long. Maybe number one. And these are just whooshes which I can get free from Final Cut Pro or I will link some resources where you can get some free sound effects from certain sources in the project description. But essentially you want to do this throughout the entire sequence and once you add sound effects, it'll make the video a whole different level. There'll be a whole nother element to it. So you just want to continue this throughout the entire project. And once you're done, it should look something like this. So well done, you've made it to the end of the editing process, congrats.